few outfit ideas. Yeah, so this is uh, Libier. Now, Hi. we have kind of dubbed this hashtag springspiration to yes. help you get ready to spring <laughs> forward. We're going to lose an hour of sleep tonight. Are you ready for spring personally? I am. I'm yes. so excited for it. I'm excited for the lightweight clothes, and I'm excited for layering up. <laughs> okay, so let's show some of the stuff you got. Now, we should mention all came from Crossroads. Is that right? Yes, yes. I was able to pull from Crossroads, which I believe is one of the most wonderful places you can go. There's so many brands all in the same store. And super affordable. Oh, right. And if you so have affordable. old stuff, you could turn it in, use yeah. that for cash, and kind of keep it going. All right, Absolutely. what are we seeing for spring? Okay, so one thing that I recommend is to get a really cute little statement piece that you're going to put over a lot of different things. So if you have a little jean and white shirt outfit, you could pop this on and make it super nice and interesting. So, but I like this because it's in my favorite springy colors. Yeah, and it's got like texture yes. and it's got a little shimmer. Yes, okay. and um, it levels up your just regular casual outfit. Okay. One thing that we're seeing this spring are high waisted trousers, which are really, really nice. Now, because, can all people pull that yes, off? Yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad you asked because that. Because I feel like uh, <laughs> that's like bringing it back the mom jeans, you know? Yeah, no, 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 no. I think that if you are very slender, you can get away with the high waisted trouser with a tapered bottom. If you're curvier, you want to do a wide leg at the bottom and it's going to create a beautiful silhouette. Now with a wide leg, what kind of shoes would you wear with that? You can do a heel, well if you're comfortable with it, you could do a nice flat if you don't like heels. I'm, I'm not opposed so to that really, at all. Okay. It just, yeah, it just depends on what your comfort level is. Okay, and you so said now, pleat? Yeah, so remember, I've been rocking those really high-waisted tool A-line skirts oh, for right, such right, right. a long time now. And it's and coming see, back. Well, no, I see those phasing out, and I see those rom these romantic pleats coming in. So you see how these are just really um, chic and yeah. uh, more straight like line. Airy and airy, yes. light. Airy and light. Which is pleats. great for our weather I in love the summertime, that. Yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, what would you wear with so that? So this, I would pair with a cute little... A shirt like this, and, Do you then, have it and tuck it in, or no? Yes, jacket? tuck okay. it in for sure. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. What about jackets? Um, so jackets, I would love to do. Um, so let me show you something with this little guy. I love the pink is one of the hottest colors right now for the spring trend. I love to pair this pink with a green, and you could use this little blazer with so many things. I'm going to show you another little combo that we can do. Okay. My other favorite pairing right now is the pink with the navy blue. That just completely I think it's changes so the cute. look, doesn't yes. it? Absolutely. So this one. And how could, would you accessorize that? Would you could you do a long, um, yeah, whenever you have a boxy top, you want to do a long v-neck uh, what's it called? A, a necklace? necklace. <laughs> there you go. That's it. A long V-neck necklace, and that really breaks up just that boxiness of your torso. Okay, and what else you So, got? another thing are cute boyfriend blazers. These are awesome to throw on over even shorts if it's a nice oh, hot I would day. Never like, you can put this on, okay. on top of a little short. It's really cute. We're also seeing the little military jackets. That's Doing cool. a little vest is an awesome thing because then you can layer I, it on I top of things. I see this with like a little fedora <laughs> a little hat, yeah. and then throw in some sunglasses yes. and a short and you're good to go. Yes. And then as far as accessories go, I think it's awesome to just throw a third element. If you're doing a really simple white shirt with jeans, if you pop on a little, a little thing like this. Really? Like really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It'll I work. Think it'll work. It looks just adds. I, I do the elevates. Rachel Zoe box of style. Oh and my it, gosh, she's awesome. And it came with this scarf, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what yeah. to do with it. You can so do that's that. A great option. Or you can do a really fun color for a purse. And even if you're still rocking very neutral colors, if you put a pop of color with your accessories, you're ready for spring. There you go. Now, uh, let's check out your Instagram. And you also have a lookbook. Yes, yes. I did a crossroads. Um, inspired lookbook and it's for spring and it's on my website right now it actually has a really nice detailed list of how to shop for a new a new trend or if you need new pieces because i think there's something to be said about going into a store prepared right that's a, that's so huge <laughs> otherwise you yes. walk out with five different things yes. that don't go with anything yep. you have so if you go in somewhere you feel you overwhelmed so much. Oh, i, I you love it every me. time when you come in <laughs> all right code i'm excited for spring now we'll send it back to you yeah or i'll go to the store and buy the